Well, everybody, there's no two ways around it. That Nintendo Direct was freaking amazing. This has got to be one of the greatest Nintendo Directs of all time. And I know I just keep saying that. Like, if you go back and you watch some of my older videos reviewing, you know, focusing on Nintendo Directs after they happen, I'm very likely going to say that was an amazing Direct because there's been very few Nintendo Directs, full-size Directs, not Direct Minis, not Partner Showcases, with these uh, indies and stuff like that. I'm talking real directs. There's been very few that are truly bad. And this one right here is not bad at all. This direct was freaking amazing. We're going to go over some of my favorite things that were at that direct and why I am so hyped. All right, everybody, let's get started. Now, obviously, the elephant in the room here is Tears of the Kingdom. What did I think of what was shown off? Honestly, I think it looks better and better the more we see it. This trailer kind of did give me the perspective that we are going to be seeing a lot of assets reused here. They kind of tried to be cryptic more about it in other trailers, but it seems to me like a lot of this game is going to be unchanged from Breath of the Wild in terms of the landscape. And that's fine. I can tell that there's going to be areas underground. There's going to be areas above ground. They're going to make up for it in those areas that were not involved in Breath of the Wild. It also looks like shrines are gone. It's replaced with something. Who knows what? But there's definitely some changes being made here. But I mean, the general layout of the world, I think, is going to be the same. And they're just going to build upon what was already there, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. I just feel like that was not conveyed in the other trailers as much as it was conveyed in this one. Overall, I got to say, the more I see Tears of the Kingdom, the more I ask myself, why won't they show us? more content they are literally in a contest with themselves to see how little they can show us this game before it comes out it is less than a hundred days away everybody right around three months until the game drops and we still can't even get a like 15 minute trailer or like 20 minutes of gameplay footage which i knew that wasn't gonna be in this direct but i'm just saying the fact that we haven't had more showing for this game is a little bit concerning, but the more they show me this game, the more I know I should have nothing to be concerned about because it truly looks amazing. I just really wish we could see more of it because Tears of the Kingdom is shaping up to be the greatest game of the year and quite possibly game of the decade. Or who knows, maybe even the greatest game of all time. We're just going to have to wait to see. Not a lot to say about Tears of the Kingdom. Unfortunately, they did not show us a lot, but they did reaffirm the release date. So obviously this game is not getting delayed, which is a great thing because that was something that I really kind of thought might happen with this game. Looks like it is not going to happen, which is great. So we will hopefully be seeing this game at its original release date and well, not original release date, the original release date they promised us after the delay. <laughs> But hopefully that was the only delay and there's not going to be another one. Also, it is now confirmed that the game is $70. Nintendo put out a little press piece about that. Um, I don't know if you'd really call it a press piece, but they talked about, you know, why it's $70 and everything. And I can read you a little excerpt of that. Basically, it says, Nintendo has responded to our inquiries with the following comments. I'm not sure who inquired about this, but basically they said, on the reasoning for a $69.99 price tag for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Nintendo responds, we determined the suggested retail price for any Nintendo product on a case-by-case -case basis. And then they were asked again, on if this is the trend for Nintendo games going forward. Nintendo responds, no. We determine suggested retail price for Nintendo products on a case-by-case -case basis. So they basically gave the same answer twice. Um, I don't really know what outlet, you know, got this information. I do know it's legit and it has been posted around everywhere. But yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is going to be 70 bucks. There are some collector's editions that are already up for pre-order. Um, some places are going to have the Amiibo and everything. So if I were you, I'd keep my eyes out for that. GameStop might still have some stock left. But yeah, we don't know exactly what's going on with all that. I am trying to get myself a collector's edition. Hopefully, I will be able to get the game in a collector's edition. It is a bummer the game's 70 for a game that, you know, is going to run at probably 900p, 30 frames a second, to spend $70 on it. I know it's going to be worth the money, but I'm just saying I understand why people will be mad about that price. It does seem a tad bit high for Nintendo Switch hardware. You know what, honestly? When PlayStation and Microsoft were in this fidelity during the Xbox One, PS4 era, they weren't charging no $70, so I get why people would be mad, but, you know, everybody's going to get mad about this, and they're all just going to buy it anyway, so instead of getting mad about it, I'm just going to be honest with you, this is a non-issue for me, I'm just going to buy it. I'm sure if you cannot afford the $70 game, if you wait a few months, I'm guaranteeing you'll be able to find a used copy for 40 or 50 bucks guaranteed, so that is an option if you can't afford a $70 game for sure, just to wait a few months. 
I know that might be kind of difficult to do, especially if you're a major Zelda fan, but I guarantee you have a giant backlog to catch up on, like, all of us here. So, yeah. Kind of sucks, but what are we supposed to do? But let's get on to the next thing here, because I know that was something that really made a lot of people mad, and I definitely don't want to focus on that. But the thing is, is, it's fine, you know? It's fine. For most people, we're going to complain, and we're just going to move on with our lives after we pay it. Does it suck? Yes. Is it a good thing? No, but I guess it's fine, you know? I can't really get that upset about this. I can't. Metroid Prime got a remaster, which I feel like is the second biggest news out of this whole ordeal possibly the biggest thing that got announced just you know brand new announcements here there were not a ton of brand new announcements but a lot of the announcements that were made were really really great so it doesn't really matter but the metroid prime remaster uh is pretty much a full-blown remake actually got like completely shadow dropped and just dropped i am going to be waiting till the 22nd of february when it does hit retail shelves to get a physical copy for this game it does look like something i'd want to have on my shelf um, you guys let me know down below, are you buying it like today or yesterday when it's shadow dropped or are you just waiting for a physical copy like me? I, as much as I like Steam and as much as I like these other things, I do really like owning the boxes of my video games and that is going to be kind of sad for me when I no longer can do it in the future because I feel like we're getting closer and closer to that time frame. But yes, Metroid Prime got a remaster and I think this kind of solidifies Prime 4's got to be on its way. It's got to be almost done. We'll probably see it next year, 2024, Metroid Prime 4. I mean, that just makes too much sense. Pikmin 4 is coming out in the summer. It's going to be July 21st. It's going to release. Splatoon 3 got an expansion pack. Hooray! That's really cool for all you Splatoon fans. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Boot Camp gets a release date which I thought was pretty cool. Etri and Odyssey, great series. First person dungeon crawler. I know it's not for everybody, but it certainly is a fantastic series if you're into it. Probably one of the more niche titles that was announced at this Nintendo Direct, but I will say it is a fantastic series if you've never played an Etri and Odyssey game. Another thing worth mentioning for sure is the Nintendo Switch Online Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Collection. A ton of your favorite games from that era, well eras, because it's Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, but eras are coming to the Nintendo Switch, which is really, really great. I know that this is something that a lot of you are going to be excited about. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. It is actually available right now. So get on your Nintendo subscription. If you have a subscription for Nintendo Online, you'll see a ton of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games there for you. I cannot wait to play Metroid 2 and Fire Emblem. Those two in particular are going to be ones that I'm going to be playing. It's always a great thing when a Nintendo Direct has a great mix of, you know, AAA, AA, and really small niche titles that, like, hardly no one's heard of besides their dedicated fan bases. That's really cool to have a great mixture of all the different types of games, the ones that will appeal to everybody, the ones that will appeal to a lot of people, and the ones that will appeal to only a certain group. That's really cool when you have a great mixture like that, and I feel like this Direct handled that well. Overall, I gotta say, there's not too much I can complain about. I know that I skipped a ton of stuff that was shown off at this Nintendo Direct, but you have to understand that these were the highlights for me. These were the things that I was most excited about. I'm not going to act like this was everything. Obviously, it was 40-some minutes worth of stuff shown off. This is not that. This is not me rehashing the whole Direct. This is me going over the stuff that I'm interested in, the stuff that I'll probably be buying, and the stuff that I'll definitely be enjoying on my Nintendo Switch as soon as it hits them. I cannot wait to dive right back into Metroid Prime. It has been years since I've played the first game, and I'm super excited to play it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. Comment down below. Tell me what your favorite things that you saw was. Let me know, was this a good direct? Was it a bad direct? I thought it was great. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, Jimmy out of here. I gotta say, this direct lived up to all my hype and some Great job, Nintendo and everyone else who participated in this direct. This was a fantastic showing. Switch 2023 is looking to be one of its best years yet.